Hi, this is Michael Shear from Time, and I'm here with Congressman Ron Paul, a Texas Republican, two-time presidential candidate, who has a new book out this September called End the Fed. Thanks for joining us, Congressman Paul. Nice to be here with you. Brad Thomas from uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, asks, what role does the Federal Reserve have in our current economic downturn, and how would auditing the Fed improve our situation? Well, the Federal Reserve is the key element in uh, the formation of financial bubbles. The Federal Reserve is the culprit, and uh, if we could get an audit, we could reveal exactly what they do, because they deal in trillions of dollars of extending loans to special interests, special banks, special corporations. They make deals with other central banks and other governments of the world. So they're a government unto themselves, and they print their own money. So if people have any concern whatsoever about uh, the business cycle and serious financial uh, problems that we have that we're in the midst of, and now we're facing a dollar crisis, they have to know about what the Federal Reserve is doing, how it operates, and then we can get to the bottom of all our financial troubles that we have. Do you think you were treated fairly by the mainstream media during the 2008 presidential primaries? Well, I know if you'd ask my supporters that question, then you'd get a pretty strong answer. I guess it's, it wasn't too shocking to me because I expected it. Uh, I really don't think I have gotten a fair shake over 30 years. But in spite of it all, I was very pleased. You know, uh, even though I, I didn't get much time in the debates and, and not much attention uh, during the campaign, we had a rally in Philadelphia. We had 5,000 people early in the campaign, got zero coverage. So, no, but... Uh, all in all, uh, a tremendous amount of people were able to hear the message. It got on the internet and YouTube, and, and right now, if the three majors or the five majors don't give you much coverage, it's, it's not as relevant. All you have to do is have a message that touches on the issues that the people care about, and uh, evidently the people will listen and respond. Why do you support the decriminalization of marijuana? Why support the criminalization of marijuana is, is the better question. Uh, I, I mean, this is a substance that grows in a natural way, and some people use it for different reasons. In a free country, you ought to have the right to do that. And another good reason is the war on drugs is a total failure, and it's created a monster of, uh, of a problem for us, and we spend hundreds of billions of dollars. Prohibition is absurd. How do you feel about the way you were shown in the latest Sasha Baron Cohen film, Bruno? Well, I don't feel good about it because uh, I was a subject of a trick and nobody likes to be tricked, uh, especially when fraud was involved, you know, lying to us and a few other things and, and making fun. Uh, so you feel, you feel badly that you uh, weren't on your toes. But then again, uh, most of life is, uh, is, is uh, dependent on a fair amount of trust with people. You trust your employees, you trust your friends, and almost anybody can trick you eventually, um, but if, if you refuse to accept any trust with anybody, it's a miserable society. Kevin Tuma from Hillsboro, Texas. Do you feel that fear-mongering from conspiracy theorists helps or hurts the cause of liberty? Well, it depends. You know, if there is a true conspiracy, that's a plan behind the scenes. Uh, you could call the Federal Reserve a conspiracy because they're conspiring to, uh, you know, run the whole economy secretly. So I would say that's a pretty good conspiracy we ought to understand and we ought to look into. I think there's a conspiracy of bad ideas, uh, and, 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 and I'd like to participate in the conspiracy of some good ideas. So I conspire all the time. I, I conspire with my friends on how we're going to uh, move the cause of liberty along. Why do you oppose the income tax? Because I have a right to my life, and I have a right to the fruits of my labor, and government does not. If you concede the principle of the income tax, you concede the principle that the government owns all your income and permits you to keep a certain percentage of it. And uh, I believe in natural rights, God-given rights to our life and our liberty. It doesn't come from government. Equivalent to that is the idea of the government owning, uh, owning your life when you become 18. You have to sign up for the potential draft in case they need you to go over and die for some worthless cause. So it's always there. It's always there saying the government owns you. Uh, this to me is uh, very clear in the income tax. Uh, uh, I, I just think that someday it, we won't have an income tax because when the dollar crashes, uh, the system won't function and people are, it's gonna be so much chaos that people probably just won't bother sending anything in.
What do you make of President Obama's approach to Iraq and Afghanistan now that he's been in office? Every bit as bad as the last administration. Uh, maybe even worse because uh, he's not getting out of Iraq. Uh, that's a pretense. And he's expanding rapidly what's happening in Afghanistan. He's continuing the bombing of Pakistan. He has not changed his attitude about uh, Iran. Uh, they're talking about uh, denying any shipments of gasoline to the people of Iran just to further antagonize the situation. What he's doing is, um, is a little more dangerous because he has neutralized the anti-war left. The anti-war left has just left. At least Bush was honest. I mean, he he was he was up front, you know, and he believed in in uh, preemptive preventive war. But everybody is hopeful that Obama would do differently than he isn't. So he has quieted down the left, and there's a very weak anti-war movement in this country now. And that obviously is something I hope to participate in reviving. Uh, and it, it has to be coming from the, uh, the old right as well as true uh, progressives who believe that uh, all this warmongering and killing makes no sense whatsoever.